Welcome back kids. Today we will learn about different types of forces. Some examples of different types of forces are Magnetic force Electric force Gravity and friction. A magnetic force can attract objects made of materials such as iron and steel. They can pull these objects towards them. A magnetic force is non contact force. This means it can act on object without touching it. A magnet has two poles, a south pole and a north pole. The unlike poles of magnets can also attract each other. The pull of a magnet is called the magnetic force of attraction. The like poles of magnet repel by pushing each other away. The force between two like poles of magnets is called the magnetic force of repulsion. To understand the next type of force, let's do an experiment. For this you will need a sweater or any piece of clothing, and a balloon. Rub the balloon on your clothes for about 30 seconds. Now let's see what happens when you bring it near your hair or towards some small pieces of paper. Bring the balloon near some torn pieces of paper and observe. You will see some of the pieces will stick to the balloon. Let's find out how it happened. When we rub the balloon on our clothes, the balloon becomes electrically charged. The charged balloon is then able to attract our hair or the pieces of paper, which also has electric charges. The force between electric charges is called electric force. Throw a ball in the air. Does the ball remain in the air or it falls down? Why does the ball falls down? And why doesn't it remain in the air? No matter how high we jump, we will always land back on the ground. We do not stay up in the air. Why is that so? Let's find out. We land on the ground because there is a force pulling us down. This force is called gravitational force or gravity. Gravity is the force of attraction between two objects. There is a force of attraction between the earth and any object near the surface of the earth. That is why objects in the air always fall back to the ground, towards the center of the earth. There is no gravity in space. This is why astronauts and other things float around in space. Toss a ball on the ground. After bouncing for some time the ball will slow down and come to a stop. Why is that so? A force is acting on the ball as it moves. This force is called frictional force or friction. It makes the moving ball slow down and eventually stop. Friction is the force which goes against the motion when two surfaces are in contact. It acts in the opposite direction to the motion. Friction is a contact force. When we are walking there is friction between our shoes and the ground. If there is little or no friction we would slip and fall. So kids, in this video we discussed different types of forces, like the magnetic force, electric force, gravity and friction. This brings us to the end of the video. If you have any queries you can write to us at thestudypod01 at gmail.com.